Okay, what we have for review today is some CyberClean products. We have CyberClean Home and Office in the packet form and tub. Now the only difference is the size. This here, I believe, yeah, 75 grams in the packet form, which is the uh, smallest amount they do. Then the next step up here, we have the tub, which is 140 grams. Also, it comes with a little brochure to show the other types. Now, what this is, it's, it's a squishy, gungy stuff, but it contains alcohol and things like that in it, which helps clean bacteria and dirt off of uh, things like keyboards, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating today is uh, my Mac keyboard, which I haven't used for a while because the space bar isn't working, so it's gathered quite a bit of grime. Uh, it visibly removes dirt and dust, like I say, it enhances the performance of your devices. Unique and reusable cleaning compound reaches where other cleaners cannot. Well, if you look at the back of the packet, if you get it, you have this little window here, which shows the actual uh, product inside. Not just a picture, it is actual stuff inside this little window. And next to it you see a little label which shows uh, what colour it should look like if it looks bright like that, which this actually looks even brighter than that demonstration picture, then it, you can continue using it. Or if it looks dark and more like a green instead of a yellow, then it's time to replace it. But until it changes its colour to that greeny colour on the back of the packet, it's safe to keep reusing it. It leaves no residue and hands stay safe and clean. So, as you see, there's a tear mark up the top. I don't know if you can see, but the little mark it says tear, and if you rip it there uh, to get it open. Then you open in between and pull because it's a vacuum sort of seal pack. Then it's uh, quite squashed in there, so you might have a job initially taking it out. I did with the automotive one, especially since I was doing that with one hand. There we go. Let's pull it out. And here it is. And this yellowy one really <laughs> seems to glow on camera. Almost like glow in the dark stuff. But anyway, to begin with, just give it a little stretch. Fold over. Get it climatized to your hands. and Get it all sort of squished in and activated. And get all the ingredients to come to the surface, etc. So you just sort of squeeze that, give it a good squeeze. Get a good stretch, and you should be should be ready to use. So I don't know how dirty you can see this keyboard is. The actual keys, surprisingly, aren't that bad. It's more in these gaps here, which I'll actually demonstrate first, are very dirty in between, like the numpad and the main bit of the keyboard. So I'm actually going to change position. This is hard to do and see at the same time. And then you come this way a bit. So basically what you do, you push and pull. Then fold, push, push down, push in there and left. It's a little bit cleaner. Let's try over here. Let me just get this keyboard held better. Can you see? Let me come this way. Quite dirty in there, so let's squish it in. And left. You can actually see, not sure if you can see, but there is a bit of grime on there, so let's fold it over. So it gets squashed in and captured inside the gunk and pull let's try on the keys here so that's it get where you can see let me hold it better and let's push down let's just push 
and left. I threw up higher because those keys are dirtier. These other ones are pretty clean. Yeah, you can actually. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it is getting some done, you know, a bit of dirt out. So that's fold it over. That's where you can see it. Fold it over. Now, let's see. Oh, here, can you see that? This key here? This one under my finger is very dirty. I'm not sure if it shows on camera. So let's press down and pull. Let's press down left press down left again in between hold it in there for a few seconds and pull yeah definitely got a load of dirt that time I'm not sure if you can see Fold that over. So bear in mind, even if it looks quite clean and like it doesn't need much done with it, this does remove germs. So it might be worth it might be worth even if your keyboard doesn't look very dirty, it might be worth cleaning it with this just to um, remove the germs as keyboards apparently can get dirtier than toilet seats but um, don't don't use this on LCD monos with screens because the instructions that came with it the instructions that came with it said not to uh, use it on LCD monos so just use it on things like keyboards now my verdict on this is basically I'm sure it removes germs really, really well. However, what they say you do is just stick it in and lift. And it doesn't seem to lift much. Yeah, it might. Well, I'm sure it does remove bacteria and germs because it's got an alcohol formula which it Alcohol is very good for getting rid of germs. Uh, however, as far as cleaning mess, actual mess and dirt, I'm not very impressed. But if all you want to do is get rid of all those horrible germs on a keyboard, like I say, they get so germy, worse than toilets, then yeah. But as far as actual dirt, no. You're better off just using a using a cloth, damp cloth, and gently wiping it off. You can feel it getting very damp in your hands when you give it a good squeeze. So that should be it activating and coming out all the chemicals and stuff. You know the alcohol and that. So let's just give it another go. A little bit of a hair because it's made to be so the stupidest person in the world can use it and I can't use it so <laughs> if it's made for the stupidest person in the world to use it and I am the stupidest person in the world that tells you it's not that great no so yeah my verdict good germ and bacteria removal perhaps but don't count on much more but thanks to uh, CyberClean for sending this out for me to review anyway but I have to be honest with what you know well, what happens when I try to use it so yeah unfortunately not the best most positive reviews but thanks for them to send it out anyway it's really good especially since I'm fairly new reviewer so this has been a review for videotechreviews.com
please rate, comment and subscribe.